Hello, BookTube. As if your plate weren't crowded enough with read-alongs, I have another one to recommend to you. <laughs> another one that I am engaged in. Uh, I, I don't want any of you to think that I've forgotten Chunksterama. <laughs> I haven't forgotten Chunksterama. I made a video explaining my apparent lack of participation in Chunksterama, and as is often the case with me, I know this is not going to shoot up my uh, my admiration in your eyes, I just forgot to upload it. <laughs> I, I make videos all the time. Whenever I feel like talking to you, I turn on the camera and I make a video. Uh, it's not a big production number for me. I don't have ring lights. I don't have string lights. I don't have fairy lights. I don't have assistants. I don't write a script. I don't do any editing. I don't do anything like that. When I feel like talking to you, I turn on the camera and just start talking <laughs> and then and then upload it from the camera to YouTube. And sometimes I forget to do that part and sometimes I will upload it. I'll just hit the upload button. It's very simple. And it, the, the video will upload to YouTube and I'll just forget about it. I'll forget to you know, to go into YouTube and put the title on it and put all the indicia on it and, and hit publish. I'll forget to do that. And I did that. So I will I will post that video today about Chunksterama. And there are a bunch of other read-alongs as well. Of course, summer's a big time for read-alongs on BookTube. Read-alongs are fun. They're lots of fun. You get different perspectives on different works and you get to feel a sense of community. You get to feel like you're tackling something perhaps intimidating, like in Storm Along, where the thing, the books are entirely huge. You get to feel the sense that you're tackling them with other people. And boy, oh boy, is that is that sense in operation for this read-along. Because this is a read-along of Boswell's Life of Johnson, the unabridged edition. Which is, uh, at last count, 800 million pages long. It's 800 million pages long. Matthew at Maybury Book Club uh, fell under the... Under the uh, corrupting influence of Steve Donahue and ordered a copy of this book the other day and is intrigued by it and asked me if I wanted to do a read-along with him. Uh, and of course I said yes. <laughs> I said yes, even though one of the problems that besets me on read-alongs and one of the problems that seems to make buddy reads absolutely impossible for me is the disparity between me and the other people involved. In buddy reads, it's the disparity of reading speed. I read much faster than, than a normal bookish person. And on top of that, I read for 15 hours a day, which normal bookish people do not. <laughs> More normal bookish people have all sorts of other claims on their time. So, they, so that the idea for buddy reads on a lot of people's parts is, well, I can't invite Steve to buddy read a Portrait of a Lady with me because it'll be done in the first day. And then what happens? He's twiddling his thumbs for the rest of the buddy read or dropping hints or spoilers. I have tried to stress to the cool kids who are all doing buddy reads with Sean the Book Maniac that I can control myself. I can set a certain page number and read that page number and only that page number. I, I can do that. <laughs> I am safe for buddy reads. I know I smell, but I am safe for buddy reads. We could do them. But uh, the same thing is true with read-alongs. I, I was encountering it in the, in the reverse direction with Chunksterama. Chunk, in Chunksterama, David Murphy and I picked are picking big chunky books off your shelf that you should be reading during quarantine and we have not we have not been paying quite a lot of attention to the disparity in familiarity we read our first one was lord of the rings which i've read many many times and he had he was reading it for the first time and our second choice even more disastrously I'll, 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 as i mentioned in the video that i'm going to post uh, is The Wealth of Nations by Adam Smith which i've only read as a layman and only once or twice whereas D david has well, he's mapped what we'll laughingly refer to as his life <laughs> along that book. <laughs> so so <laughs> that causes a disparity in readership. And that is another, that, that in reverse is usually the besetting problem with me and read-alongs because this is a perfect example. As Matthew says, I'll leave a link to his introduction video. Uh, I have read this book many, many times. And not only that, but I've read many biographies of all of the people in it. All the ones who have biographies, I've read many biographies of all of them. Uh, and lived with them, lived with their writing, all that sort of stuff. Whereas uh, Matthew has never read this book before and knows nothing about the time period. So he's going to be embarking on it cold. And uh, I will do my best. <laughs> I will do my best to, uh, to lessen that disparity. Uh, but I wanted to invite you along in case this is one of those books that has always been nagging at you and you've always wanted to give it a try. Uh, Matthew seems to think that 250 pages a week will do this in the month of July. So that's what we're going to do. 250 pages a week is 1,000 pages in a month. It's a lot, 
But I have a feeling that if you give it a try, you'll realize that Boswell carries you along, that it's not going to be that much of a burden. So next Sunday, or no, uh, no, yeah, the first Sunday in July, uh, we'll be discussing the first 250 pages of this book. Uh, which, since it's not my read-along, I am not going to call it Boswell's Life of Steve Donahue. <laughs> Instead, we'll just do it. Uh, we'll do a, a Life of Johnson read-along uh, with with Matthew at Maybury Book Club. A lot of you know him. He lives in a tiny house with two enormous cats. <laughs> so, so, uh, so that's yet another read-along for your schedule. There are a whole bunch of them. I haven't even scratched the surface for July. I haven't even started to assemble all of them for the, for July. But I thought I'd throw another one in there just in case it interests you. Uh, and uh, I will remember to upload this video and to upload all of the videos that I haven't uploaded yet. I will look at my backlog and make sure. <laughs> so, so until then, I will, I will wrap this up for now and I will see you soon. Thank you, BookTube.